This year the theme was Food Factor and the playing field consisted of several different food oriented challenges that the students had to design and build a robot in order to compete in. So these challenges ranged from separating the viruses from the bacteria, to collecting fish, to any, anything involving food oriented goals. And they spend the next six weeks designing and building a robot. It's clear in watching these kids how much work that they've put into, the, into developing their programs and developing the robotic structures that they have. They answer our questions in a chorus, competing with one another to describe the activities that they've undertaken in order to build successful robots. And unseen, in the back of all of this, it's, it, it, are, are the legions of parents and teachers and instructors who have coached these kids uh, and gotten them to the point where they can do meaningful work with our robotics. The best feeling that you can get out of this is seeing the kids compete in the competition and then seeing them so, so happy just because their robot did something that they spent weeks trying to figure out. And the fact that through that process they learned incredible amounts of material in terms of programming, designing, teamwork, knowledge about the research project. Like you can physically see them learn in this time period and it's just quite amazing. When kids come out of the competition thinking, wow, I really enjoyed this and I now am considering going into a scientific background or we had one kid um, from our competition the other day that said I want to be an engineer I want to go to Dartmouth and that's just like oh blew us away over the moon for that. <laughs> <laughs>